Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be going over past mock drafts, pre-draft, um, and seeing how these NFL analysts did based on how it actually went. So, um, I already just recorded this, and then I realized my audio was screwed up. So, we're going to be redoing this here for a second. Or, I guess we're just going to be redoing this. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. We're looking at the actual NFL tracker here. This is the order that the guys actually went in on draft night. A lot of picks were traded around, as you could see. There's some. There's even this one that was traded around quite a bit. So yeah, it's going to be interesting how these guys mocked it compared to how it actually went down. I mean, no one got it 100 percent right. I can tell you that straight off like the rip. It's just not possible, you know. But uh, yeah, let's look at Daniel Jeremiah here. Trayvon Walker, number one, got that right. Aiden Hutchinson also got that right. Iki Aquanu uh, didn't go up, didn't end up going uh, here at number three, but uh, they ended up taking Derek Singley Jr., who went CB1, and then Sauce Gardner at number four. That one was also correct. Evan Neal did not end up going number five. He went number seven, but he got the correct team, so they are addressing the needs. And uh, Daniel Jeremiah saw that they needed a tackle and ended up taking Evan Neal. Then uh, Charles Cross came into, uh, this wasn't this pick, uh, Carolina ended up, who did they take? They took, they were the ones that took Aquanu, so, and um, Jamison Williams, they did go receiver, but they did not go Jamison Williams, they got Drake London here at eight, and then um, projected trades with the Seahawks, which is nice, because New York Jets did not end up going Drake London. Instead, at number 10, they got Garrett Wilson, who is um, still on the board here in real life, other than getting picked off at number 7. And then Kayvon Thibodeau dropped all the way to 10. That is not what happened in real life. He ended up going fairly early at number 5 to the New York Giants. And um, Chris Olave, it was a trade between, I mean, there was the three-team trade, I think. Philadelphia, Saints, and the Washington Commanders were all involved. Um, over the time of the course of the pick, you know, the, the pick over the course of time was uh, given through three teams. Chris Olave, uh, correct pick at number 11, except it wasn't the Washington Commanders. It ended up being the Saints. Then at Minnesota at 12, uh, Derek Stingley Jr. is long ways off the board by now in real life, but I could have say, seen this happen in real life. Ended up going with Lewis seen at 32 which you still help uh, get that secondary you know you get that you dress secondary there Jermaine Johnson at 13 that is not um correct at 13 we saw Jordan Davis go from the from the Eagles this this uh pick was also traded around a bit and then at 14 the pick was actually Kyle Hamilton and um she got some stuff mixed up here so um, it all went like one ahead. So Jordan Davis ended up going at 13 and uh, Kyle Hamilton ended up going 14th. And then going number 15th, uh, it was Kenyon Green that was in the trade for this pick as well. So uh, they got Kenyon Green here at 15. Uh, they being, yeah, the uh, Houston Texans. And at number 16, Trevor Penning, uh, Mahler out of northern iowa he was a beast at the pro bowl he's got the dog mentality uh addressing that need after um addressing that need after you lost Teron armstead but um that didn't end up happening it was actually traded that pick was also traded around four different times went from indianapolis to philadelphia to new orleans back to the washington commanders and they t ended up taking Jahan Dawson there. So all the good receivers are off the board at this point. And then at 17, Kyer Elam comes off the board, which is a little early for him as well. But um, what they actually end up doing is Zion Johnson out of Boston College. Just a straight up pick. And then this huge pick that had to do with A.J. Brown. And then they brought in Trey Traylon Burks. So... um. Yeah, it was a big uh, big trade and big draft night surprise for all of us. And then at number 19, New Orleans says Devin Lloyd. That would have been your DeMario Davis replacement considering he's like 33. So Devin Lloyd 
he had mocked at number 19, but that is where they actually ended up taking Trevor Penning, who he had mocked at number 16, which I'm, I'm sure they were splendid with. Kenny Pickett at number 20 actually did happen. He got that one correct, which everyone was happy to see. I was happy to see that he was first one off the board. And then Zion Johnson, 21 to the New England Patriots. That didn't happen. He was gone a long ways before. I think he went to the Chargers. He did. And then uh, he had Trent McDuffie going here to... Oh, wait, yeah. No, he had Trent McDuffie at 21 here, which that didn't end up happening either. And number 22, Traylon Burks. Oh, well, that didn't happen. I wish it had, but it didn't happen. They ended up going Quay Walker, which, in my opinion, i kind of confused by the pick, but, you know... We, we deal with it. We deal with it. And then Kyer Elam actually came off the board. Um, Kyer Elam to the to the Bills after being traded around a little, a little bit. And then Tyler Smith would be next off the board. This is where Jahan Dotson, uh, where everyone, or where Daniel Jeremiah had Jahan Dotson going. Brees Hall at 25. That was not the reality. No running backs were taken in the first round here which was a kind of a letdown. But um, this was an interesting pick because you had one of the best defensive players in the whole entire draft fall all the way to 26 here, and the Jets traded right back up to grab him. Jermaine Johnson ended up actually going at number 26. And then Logan Hall. I have high hopes for him. I think he's in a great system. I think he'll pick up right away. I think he'll be a good day one starter. And uh, yeah. That's that for that pick, and that wasn't at number 27. They they traded that pick away for Devin Lloyd, and they, I think they traded down to the second round where they would actually end up taking Logan Hall still, so that's uh, good to see. Quay Walker at 28. No, that happened at 22. Oh, no. I, I'm That's where it happened, 22 in real life. And then um, at number 22. 29 boy a mafe out of minnesota um that didn't actually happen ended up trading around to new england who got cole strange at the pick and then george pickens is not the pick here either at number 30 it was george Carlaftis, and then um brought along Dax Hill at 31. Did that actually happen? It did not. David Ajaba was taken. I thought he was going to fall out of the first round, but David Ajaba was taken 31st. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I'm, I'm getting mixed up. Dax Hill was actually the one that got picked here. David Ajabo did fall out of the first round, and I don't know what I was, what I was on about. So this, this draft grade, I'd give it a B plus. I think that he had the right ideas for the teams. But uh, the accuracy wasn't great, and no one is going to be great with the accuracy, especially this year. Uh, too many trades, too many big moves, too many uh, reaches, and too many, uh, like, Will Strange was a guy that was pretty strange to see. But uh, Charles Davis now, we got to see. We get to see Charles Davis here. Um, Drayvon Walker had the same top three, had the same top four as, the, as uh, Daniel Jeremiah. And then Charles Cross at five wasn't great. Uh, Evan Neal here wasn't, you know, the best. But I guess it would have been great for Carolina. But due to mock draft purposes, it wasn't really the best. And then Avon Thibodeau ended up actually going number five. And then Evan Neal would go number seven in real life. Actual draft. And then Jermaine Johnson did not get taken this high. Seattle with Derek Stingley, that did not happen. Uh, Drake London was not the pick here. He actually ended up going at number eight overall to the to the Falcons. Garrett Wilson, wrong idea. They wanted Chris Olave, and it was the Saints that actually took Chris Olave. Trent McDuffie was not the pick here at number twelve. Number twelve was traded around to the Lions, who eventually took, um, who eventually took, uh, Jamison Williams, and then Kyle Hamilton at thirteen. One pick too early. Uh, these guys are generally in the same area in every mock draft I saw these two. Uh, they're always in the same area, but yeah, they ended up flip-flopping, and with trades going around, 
it was the Eagles actually picking here instead of the Texans, and they ended up taking Jordan Davis. And then the very next picks, Kyle Hamilton fell right to the Baltimore Ravens, which they had to be happy about. Um, so Philadelphia Eagles, Jameson Williams didn't happen. Jameson Williams falling in the draft due to injury as well. I still think he'll be a, a stud. So um, if you you fantasy dynasty players out there, make sure to pick him up. You know, if it's if the price is right. And then Trevor Penning. Another copy right over from Daniel Jeremiah. That also didn't happen, and he ended up getting taken here instead. So Chris Olave ended up actually going to the Saints up here at pick number 11, but, but due to a trade. And then Trevor Penning would actually go number 19 overall to the Saints later. And then Devontae Wyatt, it was not the pick. But that was Zion Johnson. And then for the Philadelphia Eagles at number 18, that one I'm pretty sure was traded around. Yeah, that was a big AJ Brown trade. Ended up getting taken. Uh, ended up Tennessee getting Traylon Burks here. And then, um, like I already said, this one was kind of tossed around. Ended up being Trevor Penning. And then he had the wrong quarterback mocked here. Which is all right. I saw that one a lot. But um, yeah, I mean, you think you bring in Mitch Trubisky. You know, you don't you don't need a guy that can start right away. You sit Malik Willis for a year behind either Mason Rudolph or Mitch Trubisky, whoever they're going to start. Dwayne Haskins was up for the job as well, but RIP. Um, but yeah, Malik Willis was not the pick here. It ended up being Kenny Pickett. Devin Lloyd was also not the pick here for at twenty one, as that one was traded around and up ended up being Trent McDuffie to the. AC Chiefs, and then 22, I would have loved Jahan Dotson, but unfortunately he was off the board early. Uh, I think, yeah, he was off the board number 16 to Manders. I really think this was a possibility happening in real life. Um, didn't end up happening, though. So, wh who actually ended up going there was Quay Walker. And then Arizona Cardinals with Traylon Burks, that's not correct as well. That trade was also kicked around a bit and ended up being the Bills to pick Kyer Elam. And then Kenyon Green, that is not right, but offensive line. I know he's interior, but they ended up taking tackle Tyler Smith. Yes. And then at number 25, this was also kicked around. This trade was done a little bit with a trade. Tyler Linderbaum was actually great value at the pick the best centers in a while we've seen in the draft. Zion Johnson at 26. That didn't happen. It was actually Jermaine Johnson when the Jets traded back up for him. So, you know, George Karloftis, I would have loved this pick. But instead, we got Devontae Wyatt, uh, space eater up the inside, pass the, or rush the passer, and also stop the, stop the run. So, happy to see that. Dax Hill. And Sky Moore, that would have been the dream. But now they ended up getting Carl Loftus and then ended up, they got McDuffie earlier. And then Dax Hill was taken here. And then at number 32 was not Kenny Pickett. It was the trade and then the Lewis scene pick from the Jameson Williams trade. So that's that for uh, Charles Davis. Now let's go look at one that I found. Derek Stingley goes top five. I, I read that, and I was like, cool, where does he have him going exactly? He had the first three picks right, which is insane. I didn't actually think that was going to happen. But, yeah, so Trayvon Walker, one. Aiden Hutchinson, two. Derek Stingley, three. Oh, I forgot to rate Charles Davis, by the way. I'd give it a B-. minus. No, I'll, I'll give it a B. I'll give it a B. And then... No, no, no. I'll, I'll stick with the B minus. I just remembered like all the, um, all the unnecessary stuff. But Jermaine Johnson, and it was not taken here. It was actually Mod Gardner who we had going here, and who ended who actually ended up going number five was Kayvon Thibodeau, and then it went Iki Aquanu. Yeah, then it went Iki Iki Aquanu, and then ended up going with uh evan neal here and then drake london and then charles cross i think was taken at nine yeah charles cross and then at number 10 was garrett wilson he had that one correct as well 
he had the right position here, but it ended up being traded around anyways to the Saints, and they like their Ohio State guys got Chris Olave and then Jordan Davis. Here was not the pick. The pick there. There was the trade down for Jamison Williams. Keep having to look. I can't ever remember these things. Who we had going a pick just later. But um, Kayvon Thibodeau falling to 14 did not happen. They ended up getting another stud in Kyle Hamilton, who I think will be great in the box. Um, Devontae Wyatt at number 15. No, they didn't have that. They traded back, or they traded up for 13, where they ended up taking Jordan Davis. At number 16, almost everybody had Trevor Penning go. Um, and did not end up going, but he did end up going here. Number 19, but. This, this pick was traded around, and at number 16, Jahan Dawson was taken, and then Zion Johnson, and then at number 18, it was another trade. It was an A.J. Brown trade, Jalen Burks, and then this was the, um, the Trevor Penning pick, and then ended up getting um, Kenny Pickett here, Pittsburgh, and then Devin Lloyd. Saw that pick a few times. Ooh, excuse me. Saw that pick a few times. And then I would have dreamt of Traylon Burks or Jahan Dotson or Sky Moore here. But we ended up going Quay Walker. Karloftis did not quite go here. He went a bit later to the Chiefs. This pick here was actually 23. was at the Kyer Elam Bills trade. Zion Johnson... Was that no? It was Tyler Smith out of Tulsa. I'm gonna say Tol Tuscaloosa or something, but uh, Tulsa. And then Tyler Gordon at number twenty-five. That was incorrect. I think it was back and forth between. It was the the Baltimore Ravens that. Yeah, it was Baltimore that ended up getting Tyler Linderbaum. Jets traded back up to get Jermaine Johnson. Logan Hall was a projected pick here twice now, which uh, is cool. But no, it was not ended up. They did not end up taking Logan Hall here, but they did get him in the second round, I believe. So, which is great. I mean, happy. And then I would have been happy with Dax Hill, but that would have been our Adrian Amos uh, replacement, as we also have Darnell Savage playing, I think, free safety. So, Boye Mafe and then Jahan Dotson. This none of them were true. Um, they traded one of these down to yeah. I went to New England. That's the Cole Strange pick here, and then here they ended up. Was it uh, the Sky Moore? No, it was the Carl Loftus. They got Sky Moore later. I'm thinking Trent McDuffie, but they got Carl Loftus there. Then they uh, at 31 they ended up getting Dax Hill, and then at 32 they traded away. The Lions traded away to the Minnesota Vikings to get Lewis Seen. I'm going to give that mock draft a, I'm going to give him uh, a minus. If we're going to give, um, we're going to give Daniel Jeremiah a, a B plus, that's got to be an A minus or an A. I don't give it an A minus. So, uh, yeah, that's the video. That'll do it for me. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'm, I hope you had fun with this video. I had nothing else to film, so this is my last resort. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below what you want to see from me. And uh, that'll be it for me. Thank you for watching. Bye.